We know that he's not really easy time that you are going through at this time. But with Christ in the vessel, we can smile at the storm. Praise the name of Jesus. We are going to go over to our opening hymn. Oh Lord, my God, when I awesome wonder, we know that we have some great singers here, and I hope and trust that you will. Help me do so this afternoon. Somebody raise it for me, please. Yes. Okay. Oh Lord, my God, when I am awesome wonder. Consider all the works thy hand had made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. Thou power throughout the universe display. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Oh! 
sweetly in the tree. When I look down from the lofty mountain yonder, and hear the brook and feel the gently breeze, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. journey mercy to be here and father as we are about to go into the first part of this funeral service then father i pray that you will let your will be done father even though the time has been overcast but father if it is your will then i pray that you'll give us the permission to accomplish this service i pray god for your strength and your blessings in jesus name we pray and let everyone say amen let everyone say amen oh praise god praise his name we are going to read our first lesson will be taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 42 to 44. And the reading reader will be Laricia Dyer. Our Bible verse is taken from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 42 to 44. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sworn in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sworn in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sworn in weakness. It is raised in power. It is a sworn, a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. 
Here is the reading of God, holy words. We honor it by saying, Thanks be to God. Okay. Okay. Praise God. I'm just following the program now. The next lesson will be taken from Psalm 90, 1 to 12. Raymond, it's Mac, Lee, MacLeod. Yeah, yeah, Mac Ron MacLeod. Evening, people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever had formed the earth and world, even in the everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction and sayest, Return, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as the yesterday, when it is a past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away and with a the flood, they are asleep. In the morning, they are like grass, which groweth up. In the morning, it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening, it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath, we are troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in the wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason or strength they be fourscore years, yet there is strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Here read it, the word of God. Thanks be to God. Okay, thank you, Mr. McLeod. We are going to go over to the tribute. We'll first tribute, Jamaica Campbell, daughter, followed by Charmaine Watson on behalf of Kemal. Kemal. I'll be reading a letter from me to my dad, to my dad in heaven. I wish I could see you one more time, come walking through the door, but I know that is impossible, I will hear your voice no more. I know you can feel my tears, and I know you don't want me to cry, yet my heart is broken because I can't understand why someone so precious had to die. I pray God will give me strength and somehow get me through as I struggle with torture that came when I lost you from your love. Okay, could you give her hands for me, please? It's not really an easy task at this time, and somebody said if you think it's easy, come up here. Okay, Charmaine Watson. Good afternoon. And what I'm going to play, I want you to sing along. Playing the Lord's my shepherd to the tune of the Apple Wanderer, the request of Jamaica. <laughs> I didn't use. I, I 
Nobody in here in the singing. He lives, he lives, he lives. I know that my Redeemer, yes, he lives. He lives, he lives within my heart. Last one. Particularly shine up with him. Thank you. Could you give him a hand for me, please? Thank you. Come on, people. The fuse. We don't know what will be the next move. But in spite of everything, we still have a God. We are going over to the eulogy because time is moving. Michael Chambers. Uh, good evening, all. Good evening. Good evening. Sade Keith Raymond Campbell, aka Tony Howe. Born Marvin Park. Use the mic. And uh, the 20th of November, 51. Who's using the mic? Yeah, yeah. He attended Light of the Valley School and then immigrated to England in 1963, where he attended Ferndale Senior. He returned back to Jamaica in 1995 and made this his home. Keith is survived by two, daughter, two sons, one daughter, one sister, three brothers, five grandchildren, and many nieces and nephews. A very joyful and playful person. Serious and straightforward about what he wants and what he's doing. We've known each other for 50 years plus. day for me. You say farewell to my brother under certain circumstances. Have a will, my brother. We'll meet again. Thank you. Okay, okay. Heaven bless you, sir. Mr. Chambers. And we are just a few minutes away from closing. I see here on the program word of comfort. I want to say greetings again to everyone God has been
been good to us. Where he has given us life. And the only reason why we know that rain is about to fall is because we know the signs are the sign that it gives. We can look and we see this time over chaos and we can hear the thunder and we can see the lightning flashing. It gives us the indication that Let's go. 
One betray him and one doubt him. Hello. So I am saying to you, my brother, brothers and sisters, before your life is too far gone, you need to seek the Lord. The writer says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. And you must call upon him while he is near. Let me tell you something. I go to the court just the other day. I was charged, not realizing that my the fitness on my feet was up <laughs> until when the policeman stopped me. I know that he would up in September based on the time when I buy the vehicle. But I did not realize and see it was so close because them said that the fitness up from the third and I was looking somewhere in the team. When I go into the court now and a murder me charge final, so I know me not get no life sentence. And me have money in the pocket, in my pocket so I know so I never pay for it. But I just want to bring out something here to you now. When I went and sit down into the courtroom, the legal must have heart changed me. So there are sometimes some people say that when them go court, they know what tell the judge said. No, court law and yard law are two different laws. So I am saying to somebody, when Jesus come, when he returns back to this earth, you are going to be so nervous that if you don't be careful, you tell some lie on your very own self. But I am saying to you today, before it reaches to that far, you need to give Jesus a chance in your life. Many people around here know me a long time from I was a youth. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I used to enjoy myself just like anybody else. But it comes to the point where I come to the knowledge and know that if Christ should come, my soul would be lost. I did not enter. No, no only for 950 years. That's a, a long time. Almost lived to the age of uh, the longest level. Methuselah lived for 969. Praise the name of Jesus. And we are not. No, let me tell you something. You know. When a man lived to 100 years in this time, he lived long. And many of us who are here today, we are not going to live to 100. By the time you reach certain age in life, the body began to start to give way. <laughs> if you do a kidney transplant and you reach at the age of 60, remember that even if you get a teenage kidney, remember that the heart that you have inside of you is a 60 year old heart. The lungs is 60 year old. And sometimes it doesn't matter the kind of new equipment or modification that you do to your vehicle. It still remains old. And I am saying to somebody today, before your life is too far gone, give Jesus a chance in your life. Because he said, no one will come unto me that he will no wise cast out. Seek him. Jesus asks a question, what does it profit a man? his own soul or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul because it is appointed and to everyone it doesn't matter how handsome you look even if you look handsome like me death I want an appointment with you <laughs> hallelujah it doesn't matter how beautiful you look death I want an appointment with you it is appointed and to everyone wants to die but they are going to be a day that you call judgment. And if you are not ready for it, let me tell you something. It's going to take you on a surprise. Go to your bed with an expectation to wake up in the morning. But wake up in the morning and listen to the news. You realize something happened. Many people got missing. Search all over. Somebody got missing. But I am saying to you, and I am not going to preach in others, and I don't preach to my family and myself. Everybody in my household is saved. And all of my children, they were baptized before they reached 10. Oh, praise.
the name of Jesus. Because let me tell you something, many times the children them say when they're young, and when they get old, then they backslide. That's the time they should have been surrendered their life to the Lord. But I am saying to somebody today, the rain is falling now. But the Bible is clear that the day will come when the element is going to melt with fervent heat. The earth is going to stagger like a junkie man. The moon is going to turn to blood. And the sun is going to refuse from shine in her light. But before that day comes, it is best for you if you give Jesus a chance in your life. I am saying to somebody today, don't wait until you're about to die. Yeah. 
Thank you again, God, for your strength. We thank you, God, for everything that was said and done. And Father, as we come to the close of this service, and God, as we are about to go, we ask God for great mercy. We pray, God, for your protection and your guide to us. Remember the family also, God. I pray that you will strengthen them and help them, God, to be able to I pray that you lead us all while I say thanks to Jesus. Amen. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ love God. We will tell us you all speak up. Let's be the mighty song and pray. Amen. 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 Okay. Yes, Father. the years we spent together in London not as a couple but as brethren you know we've known each other and I know the man to the fullness serious yes. straightforward yes. and tell it as it is yes sir. that is cowboy yes sir. so yeah I'm son boy he's a good father still serious too good and bad, mm -hmm. they raise a soldier no matter what. Yeah. And that we give thanks for. So we hope say whichever party they know, they rest in peace and look down and move. We are going to hold it up for you. Yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, hold it for respect. Yeah, yes, sir. Respect. Yeah. Yeah. My life is for your glory. Your glory. She did do more. She did do more. She did do more. Makes a difference, just they embarrass me. Oh, I like it. Oh.